Hi guys, this is Miss Karen from New Kensington and I have a mission for you. So I drew these shapes on this board, filled them all in with colors and they just hopped off and disappeared. And I need help finding them because I, I just, I need teamwork. So I was thinking you guys could help me out. Do it. All right, let's, let's just start up here. What is this one? What's this one's missing? Triangle or oh, rectangle, rectangle. Because re yeah, right. So rectangles have one long side, two long sides, and one, two short sides. Before it jumped off the board, I'm pretty sure it was yellow. Do you see it anywhere up here? Oh, nice job. You found it. Put it back in that spot. Get back in there, Mr. Yellow. Rectangle. All right. This one has three sides and three points or angles, whatever you'd like to call them. What's that one called? Triangle. Tri in the word triangle means three. And if you have tri and angle, it's three angles. Isn't that so cool? They make up names that match the shapes. Anyway, we're looking for a triangle. Do you see one around anywhere here? It might have been green. Oh, there it is. Good job. We got it. Put him like that. Get in there. It's the green triangle. All right. Next, this guy. We all know this guy. Four equal sides is a square. Do you guys see the square anywhere over here? Hmm. Oh, good job. We found them. I should say you found them. I've been looking forever and I couldn't find them. Ooh, let's see, what's next? Oh, this tricky one. Do you guys remember this one? I think we talked about this one yesterday. It's got two names, diamond or rhombus, right? Where is that diamond? Is it under here? No. Oh. God, you're so good. All right, blue rhombus, blue diamond. Last one, no sides, no angles. This round buddy, a circle. Where is our circle? Is that him? Sort of, that is the shape of a circle, but that's the letter O trying to trick us. Oh, letter O's over here too, he just looks a little different because he's capital. Oh, and there's a little O. Ah, they're so sneaky. But which one is that? Ooh, good eye, good job. All right. We got them all filled in. Nice job. You guys gotta stay there while I'm, while I'm with my friends. All right. Okay. My eyes on you. Okay. If you guys want to do that at home, it's super easy. You can take the shapes you used yesterday, the ones that we cut out with our scissors, and you could hide them in your house or just in a different room. You have your parents hide them, kind of like hide and seek, but with the shapes. And you can make a whole bunch of different shapes that we haven't done. These were just the ones I had from the other day. You make a lot of different colors too. These ones I had red, yellow, green, and blue. And I also wanted to talk about these crayons and these colors. These are the crayon box that talked. You ever seen a crayon box talk before? Because I sure haven't. This book, hmm. I don't know, what do you think this book might be about? All those crayons have faces. I've, I've got crayons here and they don't have faces. Kind of wish they did. That'd be cool. <laughs> he had to guess what this book is about. What do you think it would be? Hmm. You keep that in your brain. Save it for later. See if you're right. So this is the crayon box that talked. It's by Shane DeRolf and illustrated by Michael Letzig. Remember, illustrated means that he drew the pictures. Michael Letzig drew the pictures. And Shane DeRolf wrote the book, which means he's the author. They work together to make this awesome book. While walking in a toy store the day before today. Do you know what the day before today is? Today is Wednesday, October 14th. That means 
the day before today would have been yesterday, which means it would have been Tuesday, October 13th. That should be a three instead of a four. So on this, we could say, well, walking in a toy store on October 13th, because that was yesterday. I overheard a crayon box with many things to say. I don't like red, said yellow, and green said, nor do I. And no one here likes orange, but no one knows just why. But then do they look happy? Or do they look sad? What do they look like? I feel like they kind of look angry. They were using a lot of exclamation points. That means they're yelling, angry, annoyed maybe. Mm, especially the crossed arms. Oh yeah. When I cross my arms, I'm usually angry. We are a box of crayons that doesn't get along, said Blue to all the others. Something here is wrong. I always expected all my crayons got along because they were all in the same box, but apparently some crayons don't. Look at all their faces. Got this guy sticking a tongue out. This guy's like, Ugh, get out of here. And he's all shocked and surprised and he looks disgusted, which means he looks like, Ugh, he doesn't like that. There's a sad crayon and an angry crayon and another really angry crayon. Well, I bought that box of crayons and it took it home with me. I wonder why she took an angry box of crayons home. That doesn't seem like it would be great to have. And laid out all the colors so the crayons could all see. So they're all spread out on her bed while she's laying their color. They watched me as I colored with red and blue and green and black and white and orange and every color in between. She's drawing a picture and they're all watching. This one seems kind of confused. You see Blue's face. That's what I'm confused about right now. I don't know what's happening. But yellow looks kind of happy. Purple still seems kind of like confused. Hmm. Oh, she's still working hard in this picture. They watched as green became the grass and blue became the sky. The yellow sun was shining bright on white clouds drifting by. So she's using green and blue and there's white and yellow and orange. Colors changing as they touched, becoming something new. They watched me as I colored. They watched till I was through. Do they look like they're angry anymore? I don't think so. A lot of them have happy faces, like smiles. Aw. They're happy to be working together. And when I'd finally finished, I began to walk away. And as I did, the crayon box had something more to say. So now that the crayons seem like they're happier, do you think they're going to be saying as mean of things as they did? Do you think they're still not going to like orange and they're still not going to like green? Hmm. I do like red, said yellow, and green said, so do I. And blue, you were terrific, so high up in the sky. Oh, that's so nice. They're talking to me and says, look how good you drew that sky. Oh. We are a box of crayons, each one of us unique. But when we get together, the picture is complete. Look how hard they all worked. There's red in the flowers and the kite and the apple tree and orange and the, the birds and the sun, yellow and the bees in the sun, green and the trees and the grass and blue in the sky, purple on some of the birds, kind of almost looks like a fish too. Maybe there's a pond behind them. Brown and black and white. They all work together to make that beautiful picture. Oh, that's the end. Have you ever used all of your crayons to make a beautiful picture like that before? Ooh, we might have to try that today. So what happened in this book? When the crayons were first in the box at the toy store, were they happy? I don't know, remember their faces? They look kind of mad and annoyed, bothered by each other. And then the girl showed them what teamwork was about. And they ended up all happy because they realized teamwork makes the dream work just like it does at school. That's why we always say it. <laughs>
So what we're going to do is we're going to take our crayons from our crayon box because everybody in their little kit from home got some crayons, every color. We're going to make our own beautiful pictures. First, you can pause me and make your own beautiful picture just like she did and try to use all the crayons. See if you can use every single one. There's a lot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I have twelve of them to use. Do you think you can do it? I think you can. I'm going to try myself too. So whenever I pause, I'll draw a picture too. And then we'll come back together and see what it is. Ooh, I'm excited. All right, guys. Drum roll. Let me see your pictures. Okay, I can't see them because this is a YouTube video. But if you send them to me on Dojo, I will see them. I'll show you mine though. Here's mine. Boom. Turns out when I uh, paused myself, I found four more of my crayons that got lost. <laughs> they must have tried to run away because they got mad at each other. You can't quite see all of what I got going on, but I got all my greens down here. My orange and my yellows are in my sun. My sky is blue, but I made it really light. I have purple pants and a blue shirt and my black dog, Abby, because she's super stinking cute. Oh, I love her. She has a little pink bone down here and I'm holding a little frisbee. And that's my picture when I used all my crayons. So they all work together to make a beautiful picture. Now the next thing we're gonna do, which we'll also end up pausing for, is in your little packets, everybody got, I think I colored mine ahead of time a little bit, my color book. And you can write your name on this line. I haven't wrote it yet, because I, I was just waiting. I want you to go around your house, take some time with, your, with whoever, whoever you're doing your stuff with it today, to walk around your house and find something for each color to put in your book. So I was gonna go around the classroom and do mine. So I started my, just my red page. It says, I see, ooh, I see red, R-E-D. So you wanna find three things that are red. So at school, we have our red first aid bag that we take with us everywhere. I had a red magnet builder, which I, oh, I do have it still. This is what we used the other day in our cool little 3D shape lesson, our cone. And I have a red chair, which is across the room, so I can't really bring it over here. But every page has a color. There's I see orange and yellow, green, blue, purple. I think there's a pink page and a white page and a couple others. I want you to take time, put me on pause, go on an adventure around your house, Try to find three things you can draw on each page. I'm gonna pause too, and I'm gonna do mine, and we'll meet up and try it and see what everybody got. All right, guys, hopefully you had enough time to find some stuff. Here's most of my coloring book. Ta-da, color the front page. So I showed you guys my red page. I'll just show you again. It says, I see red, R-E-D. And we have a first aid bag that we carry with us. I had my little magnet builder, my little cone shape, and I have a red chair. Next one is, if I can flip it, I see orange, O-R-A-N-G-E, orange. So in our classroom right now, I can look up and see an orange book, name tags that are orange, and some blocks that are orange. The next page is yellow. We have yellow tables. I see a yellow cup on my desk. And there's a yellow bag that Zippy and Mo come in. If you've been in my classroom, you know Zippy and Mo, our little puppet friends that come to visit. Okay, next one. I see green, G-R-E-E-N, green. In the classroom, we have signs that are thumbs up that are green. There's a green library chair and a watering can that's green to water our plant, George. Yeah, his name is George. Next page is I see blue, B-L-U-E. 
and I have a blue pair of shoes in here. Pete the cat is on my desk and looking cool and he's blue. And I have a blue sensory bottle that I can shake over on my desk as well. I see purple. I'm sitting on a purple chair. The board behind me is purple. And I also have a purple book. We have lots of different colored books in here. The next one is I see black, P-L-A-C-K. And my laptop I'm using right now is black. I have a stool by the sink that's black. And my classroom phone right here is black with a little bit of silver on it. Yeah. And suddenly, I can't really show you my IC white. I thought this was gonna work out better, but I can always tell you. My first one was a book that's white. I saw white clouds outside and there's a white blanket draped over a chair in front of me. I got a little too excited to see all of yours. So I, I didn't do the pink page and I didn't do the brown page and I didn't do the gray page, but I would love to see all yours. So if you can send them to me, on Dojo, that would be amazing. Or if you wanted to put in the comments, just telling me what your pictures look like, that would be amazing because I love seeing everybody's artwork. So if you wanna reach out, that'd be great. Have a good day, guys. Bye.